Why would they choose such a fucking awkward spot? Bro. What the fuck is this, bro? Sub Spunky. Bro, I am going down a fucking cliff, bro. Well, I presume I'm about to get shot in the head. Howdy. Hey, um, want to commit treason and potentially go away for 30 years? Sure. Right. Okay. What's the job? Uh, defend the island from probably every cop in Los Santos. We getting paid? So we're about to find out. Uh, I'm going to ping him here. Only a problem if you get caught, right? You know, that was, it's funny you say that. It's my logic as well towards it. You're fucking dead. Uh, um, 
Well, long story short, uh, we're about to meet up with uh, Jaeger. Uh, apparently, he might be in a very weird disguise, but um, he wants people to help defend uh, the island from... Uh, well, pretty much the Senate, I guess, and everything else that goes along with it, so... Um, but he's adamant that if we fail, that every person involved, his consequence will be most likely death, or definitely death, but, uh, even people involved will most likely, well, again, I say most likely, I keep saying that, but it's definitely <laughs> probably 30 years and God knows what fine, but. How is that, how is the treason? It's a different uh, state, it's a different, it's a sovereign state, right? I mean, technically, it's like them coming, kind of. They're trying to conquer it at that point. Yeah, right? like, it sounds. It sounds. It sounds like. Oh, okay. <laughs> Holy shit! Then I can finally say I fought in a war. Oh, sick. <laughs> sick. Well, you know, you might be dead, and you won't be able to say anything. So. Well, again, Barry, I'm gonna just not get caught. Surely they can't arrest yeah. us all, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll uh, I'll be the uh, first to say I, I would not put this club in danger like that if it wasn't worth it. So if he's just going to be like, oh, it's because, you know, we're close pals, I'll tell him to suck an egg. Yeah. I barely know the cunt, nor do I care for him. Peter, are you still on this radio? Peter might be, like, dead, by the way. He just, he's not answering his phone. Well, it's, like, just Insta hanging up. Hey, there's a shark out there. There's two. The side, you see him? I fucking told him, just fuck it. He was like, oh, let me go put this oxy away. It's like, can't, we're talking about trees and who gives a fuck? No one's going to catch you with fucking oxy. <laughs> Literally harboring the most wanted man in fucking Los Santos. <laughs> Ain't no cop coming out of here. He's like, no, let me go put this oxy away. And now he's probably fucking dead somewhere. God. I'd better wake as well, so I pinged him in, but. Uh, yeah, that's the long and short of it. I drove here and looked at this spot and was like, oh, I'm getting blooded out, but... <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no. <laughs> no, I did look at the ocean real quick and I was like, huh. I wonder if this is what it looked like for D. Well, uh, you actually got to turn around, so probably not. That's true. Okay, sky. that's yeah, that's probably what he was talking about. What? I'm sorry, this is the menu. What? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's demon. He's is he wearing a uh huh? And you want to right. It's a fucking disguise. It's fun. Hey, oh, we, it, nobody's nobody said anything. We were just. He, I said something. Chilly out Is here. that a tail? We were just commenting on the. It's a disguise. <clears throat> I don't wear it very much. Um, the fresh blood. I'm just waiting on a uh, one more at least. Let me see where he's at. Uh, yes, this is the blood of Billy. Sprinkle. Fresh. Oh, why was he was like freaking out? I actually gave him a ride. Wait, to this uh, are you fucking dead? Oh yeah. Yeah, because I keep hitting him with my oh, car. All right, hurry up. Oh, all right. Yeah, I see. Easy. I see. Right away. Did he Bro actually go get like his own car? Yeah, he's a fucking. Wait, why is he an M5? He doesn't even own an M5. I almost fell down this fucking mountain. Yeah, on my way up here, I don't know which well, one of you fuckheads sure chose this spot. I wanted to make sure that if spot. we were being followed, that they would fall into the ocean, so... I just forgot I hate that we here. might fall into the ocean before we can... It's the easiest ocean dump if it ever happens, alright? Okay. Caroline doesn't like the sea air, she gets rusty. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, this is, uh, Peter, my Sergeant Arms, and this is Colin McKinley, my VP. Both of these people have blood in this club, and they are... Both very aware that anything that is mentioned here if ever gets uh, mentioned outside of here, uh, unless given permission otherwise, it will be their head 
uh, that's rolls instead of the, you know, uh, the tongue of the information being spread. Uh, there's one other that's jo uh, joining as high command, but I told him if he rocks up just to stand and listen. But uh, these are the people that have the most influence into making this kind of decision. Uh, and I want to make sure that before we say uh, an answer to it, that they, if they have anything that they need to be sure of, that that is the most important thing to me, is that, the, that these guys uh, have any piece of information that they need if they're going to be, you know, not only putting their lives on the line, but uh, whether I they die really or not, that. they're, they're going to be sacrificing a, a large portion of, of their life. Uh, because uh, I've I've been away for a few years in that jail, and it's very different from uh, you know spending a few months in there. When you're spending years of your life in there, uh, yeah. it definitely changes you. I can tell from I've not went to jail for longer than you know <laughs> the most I've ever been is like 16 years, and it was rough. And yeah. have imagine double that. One month sweet's been to be like a man. Um, first question I have with all of this, and both of these guys have a, a brief understanding of what um, you told me. I haven't told them everything specific, but they understand what they'd be doing and what they'd be risking. Um, my question Ugh. is, in terms of BBMC's involvement, are you trying to get... How do I word this? Quality over quantity, or are you simply trying to get as many fucking uh, numbers as possible. Because I'll be completely honest with you, I can get you a really solid uh, uh, fucking crew that will be uh, you know, some of the best fucking shooters in this city and uh, the synergy we have, I, I would say on jobs is unmatched to any other group I've been a part of. Um, so I can get you like a dynamite squad, uh, but if you're trying to just purely get more numbers and more bodies to help then i can also provide that but i cannot guarantee that they will be trustworthy uh, mm, trustworthy isn't the right word i would use i would say they, they would very much be trustworthy but in terms reliable, of reliable skill wise yeah reliability i would still say that listen they're, they're not going to be fucking sieves out there but there are people in my club that have other specialties rather than war a lot you know there's people that deal with business shit car sales whatever um who still are more uh in tune with uh you know weaponry than the average person in the city but i cannot give you you know full faith that they'll be as uh, efficient as you know the boy standing here um, but that so, does not mean that they would not be able to provide, you know, assistance to that if you're just simply trying to get numbers. Here, here's my thing, right? Uh, would I like numbers? Yes, but my issue is that who I'm going against and who might be helping the PD at this time, I can't risk having someone betray me in this fight and mm. Andy and TJ obviously tell me I can trust you guys and like I said on the phone uh, we've definitely had a decent relationship but we haven't really been to hell for each other right mm. and this is one of those situations where I would say you really got to really really trust the people you involve yourself with right absolutely for me for example i could go to hydra and i could say something like because i have a good relationship with miguel uh i could say listen miguel uh there's a fucking war i know you aren't fond of the police uh i need help and they would probably ask for something and I could probably provide that. But I don't trust Hydra. I like him, but I don't have anyone that can sit there and put their life on it that I can trust them. And that goes for almost every other gang in the city. The two that I can't, there are, there's three that I can 
safely say I trust. That is Gulag Gang, who are my biggest allies. That is the HOA, and that is you guys. Andy is the major factor in trusting the HOA and you guys. And TJ is a, you know, the second major factor for you guys. Yo, give me a sniper, perch me on a hill. And here. I know Gulag's gonna help me. I'm unsure if the HOA will, but I would trust them if they decided they would. And like I said, I would trust you guys if you decide you want to as well. But outside of those three, I really can't think of many other full-on groups that I could put my faith in. So while I would like numbers, I just can't afford someone getting fucking snake whispered in their ear and try to dismantle our fucking effort from the inside. Okay. Um, my other question is... If, uh, once I talk to these guys, they're all down, whatever. Um, thing is, Colin might not yeah, obviously uh, agree with this, but as if you one said, of his the relationship jackets, mainly just extends to TJ and Sis. Um, if one of their jackets is going, Colin's not going to be like, I want to make sure that if we, the amount of risk we're taking on, uh, the amount of doors that we'll have to close elsewhere to make sure that my boys are ready and prepared and trained up, whatever. Uh, I want to make sure that when we are successful, because if, if we do say there, yes to this, that will be the only thought in my always. mind is not, uh, you know, if we fail or not. It's how Failure we are going is to not succeed. An option. Exactly. Um, the our mindset always going into something like this is that uh, we need to make sure that we're over prepared on our side, so that uh, regardless of how whatever other groups, whatever other militia, whatever else you got there, however they perform, that we can make sure with my boys that they're in the best position possible to make this work uh i want to make sure that mm, some potentially new doors are being opened uh when this is done when the job's done everything's said and done whatever sure uh i want to make sure that there's something that and i know you do have access to a lot of shit but I don't know if there's something in particular that you would be open into any kind of door, I guess, that involves you or that island that would be uh, opened up to the BBMC to make sure that, you know, for my other boys here, that it's worthwhile. Because it's not necessarily the the money or time. It's, uh, sorry, it's not necessarily the money. It's the time away from my club, uh, especially if it's my high-ranking members. It's going to put a lot of risk on my club to make sure that without a leader, they can still maintain. I'm and, thinking... Uh, uh, this is well, Edbert, by the way, if you haven't met him. Yeah, Ed Edbert. Nice to meet you. Oh, God. He, oh, I forgot he was Hello. still in a wheelchair. Okay, well, he... We'll, we'll get some surgery done or something before. Uh, Well, I mean... It would, uh, I guess I'd have to take some time to think, but I would just want... I always like the idea of BBMC being known for something, whether it's no. distributing something or helping, uh, you know. He's, um, if one uh, of his jackets goes, Colin's obviously going to utilize like, I something. Go, I don't know exactly what you have on that island, but uh, I'm sure we could discuss it further. Bombs but, and like... explosives. That's what I got. And that's the and reason that's... I'm being invaded. So I can sit here and I can tell you that, yeah, sure. I mean, uh, TJ already pushes for me, right? And uh, frankly, my life would be a lot fucking easier if people would think that it's the BBMC supplying people and not me. If I could have had that, I wouldn't be being invaded, right? But I'm just going to be honest with you. I mean, terrorism's already um, there, so I might not throw I through. don't know what's going to happen if we're successful, right? Because, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to tell you guys this because, uh, well, I, I should probably wait to hear your answer, actually. Let me put it this way. Say uh, it gets PD off your back, whatever. They, at the very least, uh, there's time to where you can get shit going. Uh, we want to have a part in being responsible in 
distributing that. Of course, we won't Isn't sweets involved pass in that on to you know whoever. If you say, knowledge. hey, I only want you guys having access or only these specific people, we'll, of course, uh, accommodate that. But I want to make sure that the BBMC, at the very least, has uh, very quick access to that whenever needed. And if you want us to become that uh, image of us being responsible for that, we're more than happy to adopt that as well. Or if you, again, are trying to keep it more low-key, and that is also fine, but I just want to make sure that if my gang is going to risk 30 years in prison each and whatever fucking fine to put him in debt for God knows how long, that um, if the chance arises and everything does, uh, you know, the sun does come up and whatever this shit gets dealt with and they back off, that uh, we have a direct line to that and we'll make sure, you know, to abide yeah, by... Approach, Let so. me explain something real quick because mm -hmm. I don't necessarily mind, right? Because like I said, TJ is already doing that for me, right? And you guys already have that pipeline right now. If you guys needed something up until, you know, last week, it was yours. I didn't ask questions. TJ said it's for the club. I just gave it to him. Uh, but, and I'll tell you this, because like I said, TJ and Andy put your faith in you guys, so I, I'm just going to do it too. Uh... The PD know I make explosives on that island. Mm. Uh, I had an undercover cop working for me. And we only Christ. found out a week ago. What? And that's crazy. He's been dealt with. I wonder who it is. What? And that's the reason this invasion's starting. So, when the Senate is involved and... Yeah, trust me, Lax. I'm. They are told that they're explosives I understand on this the, island. Uh... They have an undercover cop's word and proof about it. Our only plan of attack here is. I, I don't know if you've ever met a senator before, but if you haven't, let me explain to you how they're like. Uh, they're pieces of shit assholes who drive tanks to the barrio. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So. The only way I can imagine this going well is Order if tank. we beat the shit out of the PD and show the Senate that that militia was stronger than the PD and they work with us instead of them. Or at least let us fucking live instead of wasting more resources to invade again. Hmm. So, yeah, I mean... while it would be easy for me to say, yeah, sure... I if I argue this in my head, it all stems down to if the jacket, if one jacket goes, Connor's got to back promise, him up. Because I don't know what's going he's to happen. Sit down with Nancy. They know like, about well, the explosives. It's this not might be happening. I'd like, we should figure it out. Let me put it this way. As long as the... And I know to most people in the city, yeah, promises mean fuck all, but... I want to ensure that that door stays open and that our name is at the forefront of thinking in terms of any other solution that may arise to... Oh, you know. I'm going to tell you this right now. Uh, if after this war I'm not dead or in prison for the rest of my life, uh, the only people I'll be able to fucking trust are the people who helped me. So even if hmm. I didn't want to, I don't have an option. It's you guys and Gulag King, and maybe the HOA. So, if I needed to do anything, it's about, you guys uh, anyway. Something. Because okay. how the fuck wouldn't I be able to trust you? Considering the, the guild and shit. At this point. I don't think Nancy's gonna be too happy. That's all I need to hear. No um, shit. But you gotta realize that's gonna put a fucking target on you for the Senate. Oh, of course. I mean, you can ask anybody in this club, though, at this point. Uh... <laughs> Has been a target on BBMCs back for a long time, so I haven't really, really changed much with how we do shit, to be honest. At this point, we expect to get shot at on B boosts, so. Um, yeah, I've been there. I uh, yeah. got shot at for a lawnmower. Uh, Colin, Peter, Edber, are there any other questions you need to ask, I guess? You said uh, that this is just. They know that you make bombs. That's the sole reason they're going in there, right? Or might be going in there. Is that it? Uh, Rot. RPGs, bombs, yeah, explosives. Right. And I'm going to be honest. Um, 
like I said, Andy is very close to me, and so is TJ, so I'm going to lay this down. Uh, the people investigating me, they really don't know much about TJ. Uh, and that's a fucking miracle, if I'm being honest. Oh, so <sighs> sorry, there was a black little spider <sighs> on the side of your head. They do, <clears throat> they do not seem to know much about TJ. But if you guys get involved, then none of that shit will matter. Yeah. Yeah, I'll think about it, if I'm honest. Get him a little bit. Um, one other thing we'll uh, need to know is... Uh, I assume it's just the entirety of the island that's going to be, I assume, fucking reach from every fucking point right so if if this is something we're going to be defending we need to know exactly where we're kind of starting and where if we need to to fall back to and what the absolute most important part of the island is i need to make sure all my boys know the area um because i can sit here and say oh yeah we got great shoes this that, and the other but we need to make sure we know the area like the back of our hand better it's than fucking really behind bars we're gonna be taking on that, know, tanks and shit that i agree with so, if you guys are going to involve yourself, then I wanted to bring you guys out there uh, and do exactly that. Now, there's there's a few risks, right? And not not risks. Let me rephrase that. There's a few victory conditions. Okay. Okay. One, the biggest threat without a doubt, are the jets that the PD have. Mm. Those jets have flares. They're fast, and they drop bombs. What? We have three ways to take them out. Cool. One, and none of the ways are good, but they're a way. Okay. Uh, I say three, I meant four. Uh, the first way is we have one homing rocket launcher. It can lock on. Cool. We have about eight shots for it. Cool. We have one of those. Cool. Uh, cool. Then the other option, number two, or let me phrase two and three, is we have two missile silo thingies. Missile turrets? I don't know. I paid fucking 20 mil each for them. Jesus so Christ. they hop on the back of my APCs and you can move them and detach them. They lock on, they shoot fast, but they are immobile. That's option two and three. And then the yeah, only other uh, armored vehicles I have is I have two APCs. They take about two rockets each. or well, they take about one rocket and then the next one fucking cooks you inside of it. And I have a helicopter with mounted machine gun turrets. Those are the only things that I have that are heaven, heavy weaponry. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Obviously, I have rocket launchers, but... Yo, Jaeger kind of looking like Shadowheart right good now. Good luck hitting a fucking jet yeah. in the sky with a rocket launcher that doesn't fucking home on to things. Uh, do you have uh, any idea on when they're most likely going to try and do this? Uh, I have no idea. All I know is that they have reached out to the Senate. I was advised to reach out to the Senate to give my side. But obviously the Senate is going to trust <laughs> the PD that works for them more than they're going to trust a fucking felon like me, right? So I don't expect that to go in our favor. The only way I can see this being a victory is we smash their fucking brains in and the Senate has to recognize that we are a threat and they would rather work with us than fight us because we're not the only, quote, foreign nation, unquote. Mm. Uh, they still have the attacks from the other countries that have been doing shit in Los Santos. And what we re what we reached out to them for was would we be willing to fight them 
uh, for them. Okay. So if they see results, maybe there's a option to have that shit be in our favor. But for the most part, uh, the topography the great. that you're worried I love about, it. I, love it. I, love it. I would most likely think that they would invade via the airstrip because that's right where the uh, the freighter is. And they would probably mm -hmm. take land from, they would probably just take the land, right? I don't think they would surround the island in boats because it's not going to help them. If they have a fucking immobile boat, we'll blow it up. Okay. It's um... mainly the jets. And I gave you the first three options of, of exploding them. I'm unsure how successful that will be. Uh, those missile silos are very good, but I'm unsure. We've never tried them against a fucking jet with flares, right? Mm. The absolute best way to make sure that we can win this war is to find every single pilot and try to do something to them that might not make them able to fly. The problem is, mm. I don't know them. I know Snow. I know Snow is one of the best, but that's all I know. Ripley's okay. one. I know, I'm not coming all here. Right. I know every um, single one. Ugh. Outside of that, I know we've, uh, TJ took me there before. Is there a way that we can get access to the island whenever we want? So if I have a day where there's a lot of my boys awake and I say, all right, we're spending today just literally making sure everybody's aware of every centimeter of that island. Uh, is that a possibility, or is that something we have to do on a specific day? Uh, as long as I'm around, you can ask me, we can make it happen. Okay. Uh, the day of, if, and again, like I said, my guess is there's a 95% chance of happening. The 5% chance it doesn't is that the Senate actually took our PowerPoint seriously. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, pond as well. And I can show you the PowerPoint. I don't think uh, it'll help. Yeah, I mean, if you got it, I mean, maybe send it to TJ or something. We can have a look at it later. Um, okay. Um, I want to see the land. When can you? When can you show us the land? The what? Uh, the place. The islands. Sorry. Yeah, well, whenever you guys want. Yeah. Before uh, I even there's, have an opinion there's two on it, ways I to get it. to it. Okay. One is the way that we'll do it right now if you guys want to go today and that is i'll give you guys however much money you need for the flights and you guys will all take the flight the option that will actually happen on uh d-day is i will give Ooh. every single one of you passports and it's just something you hold and you'll be able to go there anytime you want you can fucking swim there if you want okay okay or take a jet ski well, you probably wouldn't swim there. Do you know uh, when they're planning to attack? He's gonna uh, you, all, you? all I know is that the Senate is going to contact me, and if it's favorable, I, you know, yeah, probably not going to happen. If it's unfavorable, it's definitely happening. Well, listen, we uh we always prepare for worst case scenario here, so. Um... Uh, well, if that's what Peter needs to see, then yeah, if that's possible, then let's take a look. I mean, I can take you guys out there right now if you want. You guys down? Yeah. Um, yeah. Sure. All right. Let's, uh, let's do How that. How many people do you think it's going to be? Just just us five for now, I think it's fine. And then uh, go from there. Turns out, chat, we're not the good guys. Hey, can you grab 50 grand and meet us at the airport? Is anyone around right now? Uh, well, grab anyone you want to come. Um, we're doing a tour of the island, okay? You're not about to go to bed. We're about to do a fucking war tour. Probably. BBMC! Okay, that, that's good, all right? I appreciate that. But right now, you're about to meet our one of our greatest allies. That or fall guy. I can't believe Barry had to apologize for your Britishness. 
I'm used to it. Yeah, fun. that's fine. <laughs> Fucking dick. Just grab Barry, motherfucker. Is he still doing the thing? He's right here. Okay, well, he's probably busy. With it. Another Barry. There's Grab another whole hand of Barry. There's just, another Barry? Just the money and meet us at the fucking airport. Yeah, his name rhymes with mine as well. It's like Svensson or some shit. <laughs> That's weird. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah isn't weird. that a cop? Oh, yeah. Svensson like is a cop, yeah. Give me a no, tour You're thinking of uh, Owen Svensson. ICT. Yeah, well, they're for him. Oh, okay. Hey, fuck that guy. I got a different story about him. I just meet us at the airplane. Who owns Svensson? Yeah, we shot him. Yes. Uh, bring him to the end. I'll get him there. What? Cops see being fuckheads. <laughs> I haven't seen that. Sorry about that. All right, let's head out. Yeah, let's uh, go. Time for us to... Uh, so if you take a look at your hill, GPS, there's going to be a little plane oh, thanks, Colin. Uh, right before the airport. Oh, no, no, Colin. Okay. No, it's please, not a control Colin. of my hands now, Edward. Colin, it is not we came here to blood go. you out, Colin. Edward. I'm sorry. Just, this has to happen. Colin, just like go. I was gonna say it's good to see you again, but yeah, fuck you me. Too. Go on different road. Go to point seven. Go to point seven. Point seven. Change to point seven. No, I'll just get in with Peter. It's fine. I'll leave my car here. Fuck it. Imagine a BBMZ happening. Yeah. He's crazy, right? Thanks, Kevin. What's radio again? Nine five seven. Nine five seven point seven. Get on a nine five seven. Hello. Oh boy, I can't wait for this. Right. Bye, Copper. Where the fuck did you get the M5 from, Peter? Sorry, in a sec. I'm stuck in a dead bit. But. Surely not somebody else's personal car that they would. They're definitely not track up here, right? Surely. Surely he'd think ahead, Surely right? Surely he's not that dumb. Surely. Surely we said no trackable things on us, right? God, I hate the sound of that fucking car. Okay. Oops, sorry, call it. Where are we going? Uh, go to the airport. Ah, no! I will meet you guys need over you. there. Ooh, yeah. need a, need a little, uh, little I'm sippy room. Over. <laughs> He's oh, literally so going to decline us going if he sees to this. <laughs> That's Barry, man. I I thought I was driving out here to get shot in the fucking head. <laughs> uh, cops. Uh, there's four of them. They're chasing a the car. They all went next to me. This was not the line. What happened with Svensson? Uh, apparently that was the one that Bear was fucking around with and we shot him yesterday with three. Oh yeah, so Flops went away. Flops killed someone yesterday, by the way, like killed, killed. Um, and was about to go away for first degree murder, but got pulled down a second. Uh, we pulled up the cops that were moving his body at the hospital. I pull up, tell him to put his hands up. Like five seconds later, pulls out a gun, starts shooting. I go down and Peter claps the two there or whatever. Um, so it's like, okay, uh, whatever. And then we do the same thing later on a different instance where he happens to be there. We pull up, we try and do like the, yeah, put your hands up. We don't want to fucking kill you. He does the exact same thing. And then we ice them both. So if you ever see the cunt and you try to hold him up, just literally expect him to shoot no matter what. So. Got a gun to his fucking head. Why is he reaching? Outnumbered fucking six to two. So yeah, it's it was whatever. Just I'm sick of trying to hold people up and getting shot in the face for it. So it just makes me think like you know, shoot first, ask questions later. All right. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's head down this fucking airport. Uh. Um. But one thing I want to make sure with him is. Yeah, like numbers versus like quality of people we're bringing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, because regardless, any you know any monkey can pull a trigger to make shit happen. So if he's really just trying to get uh, people there, uh, I just want to make sure the people we're bringing know uh, 
A, know what will happen to them if they don't, and B, are confident in their own ability to get shit done. Otherwise, we're literally just throwing people to get fucking slaughtered. Yeah, not to mention, if I think if a club member doesn't want to do this, I think we will very much allow that. Side note of this is, if, say, it does fail and uh, the club goes away, if we don't have some people that are still there, literally any Joe Schmo could walk down the billy and just say, mine now. Yep. That's, I didn't hit the lock. Oh my god. Uh, hey guys, I found a new getaway strat. Oh yeah. <laughs> a little tricky to land though. Maybe I'll show you sometime. <laughs> That's the line, chat. Well, the thing is, Colin. Colin obviously wants to help, but like, he's a fuck. He's, he's 58 years old. He's got a partner that he loves. He's. Oh hey. <laughs> hey. How you doing? Doing pretty good. How are you doing? Not gonna lie, you really snuck up on me. Well, I mean, you're gonna need to uh, learn how to. You know, watch out for yourself. You're gonna be joining up. Oh, I'm. Well, my guards aren't really up. I'm at the airport. That makes sense. And I'm hungover, so. Oh. Not really running at max capacity. Yeah, I feel you. Hi, Mark. Guys, there's like a really weird looking clown here. I think he's freaky looking. I want to see if, if lots of club members want to do this. Uh, Peter. Uh, we're almost there. Okay. How did I beat you guys here? What the fuck? I'm, what? I'm here. I mean, the others. Oh, Peter right. was just filling me in on the whole thing. Uh, we're pulling up now. Okay. Uh, Pigeon's trying to call Peter, just that's why. I'm the answer as one if you could real quick. Fucking dickhead parks around the corner and then just legs it. Doesn't even help me get the wheelchair out. Uh, Barry, you know, uh, actually, is the other Barry down there? Uh, with to do about pigeon driving. Money, he'll too. probably tell you how to get down there. Well, there's there's, uh, there's someone there's here. A, I don't right here. know this. Uh, wait, what'd you say? We're waiting for you. Uh, no, I'm flying over, uh, oh, okay. in a heli, and then I'll be able to take some people back with me then. Take everyone, but. Hey! Hey, how's your day going? Hey, you I can have... actually fly you back and forth to take, take, make two trips. <laughs> that would've hurt my legs if I could feel them! Don't worry, we'll, oh. we'll, we'll set you up with some rebar, you know. 
You think we could make like a wool wheelchair for me? I think what we'll do is we'll just like strap some skateboards to you so you can just zip around. <laughs> what do we put leg splints in? Put me in rollerblades and then I just joust my what way the through. Fuck? Oh, this. Is that our voice? Uh, <laughs> this uh, is. You need to leave. What the? What the fuck? Okay, what are the odds? Though? Nice driving, pal. This is real. This is real oh, awkward. Shit happening down this here. This is real awkward. Uh, yeah, it's fucking our crew. Let me make Seriously? a call and get them the fuck out of here. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, that's really awkward timing. I'm gonna go call them and tell them. The who fuck are those call. guys? I don't know I'm, who they are. I'm calling. Who are they? Yo. Yeah, you call them and tell them to the fuck away from the airport right now. Like, else. get them so far away from the airport, it's like you're allergic. All right, thank you. Goodbye. All right, they're sorting it out, but there's one copter sitting there. I bet you that copter now is like, there's a bunch of BBMC here. They're just hanging out menacingly. That happened. Yes, it did. What if we Mad Max Fury Road my wheelchair the, put a bunch of spikes on it? Ooh, like little flames that come out the back? Yes, and I just fucking charge in there. With a big shield at the front. Is that drive by people and shit? Yeah, I get nost as well, so I just fucking... You know what I mean? Oh. I feel like if we was in a prison film, you'd be called Wheels. Wheels McGee. And you do all of the dodgy deals. Oh my god, it would be pretty you're the cool guy you to put a McCollin on that island. I'm the guy that can get you anything. Goes out in like yeah, a fucking guy. blaze of glory. You always got a cigarette Mark, in his mouth. Yeah, bones. here's my uh, storefront over here. This is where you guys can buy umbrellas. It's over here. Oh, sweet. Yep. What? Cool. Umbrellas. Oh, sweet. What the fuck the fuck was that? that? I don't fucking know. Apparently our boys are in a completely separate chase. And I've literally never seen them do a route at the fucking airport. Yeah, there's the squeeze oh down there. Yeah. <sighs> well, buy a fuck fucking sake. umbrella or something. Okay, yeah. Let's, let's all buy umbrellas. Uh, yeah. I need an umbrella. Oh, sir. Fuck. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. Oh, a lawn chair. Thank God. That's... Ooh, I don't. Hey, can someone spot me seven hundred fifty bucks? Yeah, I got you. <laughs> you make sure. Times are hard. What's a pail and a shovel? A bucket a and bucket? a. Bucket. Yeah, the, the you're, cops you're, out there. I'm gonna get a bucket. A bucket. Can you just Bro, tell me to stay inside? There's still two cops out here. I'll tell you when they go. There's still cops out there, by the way. Fuck. <laughs> What fucking timing. They literally never go there. That's the craziest part. We don't have any routes down here. There's one. Um, <laughs> oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, not the jump thing, right? Not no, the no, one no, you no. You, no, see, the, the right thing you see the stairwear the, down there. Mm -hmm. so yeah, there's like a thin route where you can, some cars can squeeze down to go from the up to the bottom level. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a right shot. We'd okay, never use such a thing. Money? I've never money? used that. Can you bring never. Oh, I will now that I know about it. I'm more into like sick jumps. Free bird, am I right? Damn right. I found another one. Even cooler than free bird? Oh no, I gotta test it. Okay. <laughs> I've worried. You should get like a uh, oh, like a crash a test dummy out for yourself. Okay. Delver's gonna come in here and hand each of you five grand, and then we're gonna run out to the. <laughs> The guy and buy a ticket. Oh. <laughs> yeah, run out. <laughs> run. Can I have economy plus? I need business. Yeah, yeah, sure. I need Jones. extra checking luggage for my money? wheelchair. I think we we walk. Fuck, got... Let me be the first to walk out to, to talk. To... What the fuck's yeah, happening, I've man? I've got a criminal record. Is that going to be a problem with my flight? Barry, was that us that blew oh, someone no, up? No, it's fine. Okay. Oh, no. uh, looks like we're moving the car now. Just wait. I got drugs on me. Is that going to be an issue? About to move the car. What up, Barry Benson? Why'd you take That's not my name. Barry, why'd you take your cut off? Because I have a fucking warrant. If they see my face, you've I'm got a warrant. I don't know spot. that. Wait, wait, wait. So did Flops get away from all that shit? What the? The 
flops get away from all that shit? Is he still on the run? No idea. No idea. Oh no. That might be Brian Knight. I take the fight, leave the flag. I saw someone run up the is, stairs. Are they good? Is there a food option on this flight? It's like a fuck. It's a minute sure, flight. I I I, I want to get some be. breakfast. I yeah. Also, I, can I get the vegan in-flight meal, please? Are, are we missing anyone? Uh, no. TJ taking his own way there. This is us. Wow. Boys, I'm in a private chat. Yes, yeah, so am I. Fuck? So am I. No champagne showers, am I right? I've never been on a private jet. Yo, there's a real toilet back here. Oh my god, Kanye West and Donald Trump are using the same private jet as me. I'm jealous. Hey guys. I'm, ta I'm taking all the snacks. I'm stealing them all. It's a sparkling water too. That stuff is expensive. I'm not gonna. St that tastes like fucking static. I'm not drinking that. It, it tastes good. My pilot looks a little drunk. I think they spite my water, guys. Can I jump out of this? They said I could keep the little slippers. Am I able to jump out of this plane? <laughs> What's the safe distance to fall to water? Uh, whenever you reach terminal velocity. <laughs> Let's try that one. <laughs> My pilot is not very good. We're doing no, my bombs. my pilot looks fucking drunk. I don't feel safe. I've just landed and everyone's collapsed. <laughs> it's in America. Forget to tip your uh, pilot. We're in America. Shock! I landed first. Oh hey, how's it going? Where's my fucking? Yeah, I lost my fucking vest. God damn it. Good. Hey, I checked yeah, the bag see, in. an excuse. The airline said they had trouble and they might lose my bag. Do you guys know where it is? Um, The guy that flies that plane is someone we keep hostage. Did he steal my shit? Oh, the, the, the fucking pilot fucking joined my vest on the plane, so... Ah, oh, fuck, it's freezing. Alright, whatever. Let's just, let's just go. Okay. You want, you want to take mine so you don't get cold? No, right. I'm day. Sure. Uh, Barry, can... if you would like to drive, you can. To, I feel like you get a better layout when you're the one traversing it. Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, Why is this thing per- oh, never mind. Ask Delver. Delver painted it. Looks like the old watermelon. Yeah, I think it it's looks nice. Like shit. I don't know my no, it doesn't nice. look like shit. Nice isn't the word I'd use, but- it looks like shit. Uh, it it looks like, uh, I don't know. It looks like the Joker. It looks like Piccolo fucking Vegeta. No, it's I, like I don't know. Buzz Lightyear. What the the hell? movie just came out when I painted this. The hell's a Piccolo? No one <laughs> thinks it looks like Buzz Lightyear. Yes, it does. Look at the back. There's, no, there's not. There's too okay, much purple. Yeah, it kind of does from the back. I'm not. Gonna... It looks okay, like the Joker. The Everyone just called came it out. the Joker try. I don't true. know why you keep bringing up the Joker. I think it looks like an eggplant on wheels. Yeah, see, that's a good one. I like eggplants. Uh, do you have any kind of plans so far on how you want people like set up and what main areas, or are you still so kind of figuring that the, out? The road we just came on is where I assume they will invade from. Yeah. Whoa. Th this whole like section here is what is where I assume they will advance. Seem pretty set uh, that they're gonna be coming from land. They probably come yeah, from sea. Yeah, uh, last time, remember that one time they did actually essentially invade the police. It was a different thing though. They kind of came from like the 
island over there. Well, here's the thing, right? The last time they came, they did not expect retaliation, right? If they come on no. a if they come on a boat when we're ready to kill them, they're literally just signing themselves up for death. We will yeah. shoot a rocket at the boat and sink them. I get that, but I think you should still prepare for it. Land, sea, and air. Oh, no, no, for sure. I, I don't think... Uh, it depends on how many people we get. Obviously, I would like people to be in that tower right there, or maybe, you know, have people set up in some bushes and shit, but... I don't know, Sweets is part of that earlier invasion. I don't know. I don't want them to be able to take land for free. In terms of uh, numbers, do you have any, like, limit to that that you're trying to restrict, or as many as we think qualified to help you do this? Uh, as far as I know, it, if, the, if a war happens, we're good to do whatever. Okay. But, like I said, I just can't trust that many people. What kind yeah, we... of uh, weaponry will we have access to, like... We're not going to be running around with well, handguns, the thing is, right? the club needs people to stay back. Uh, I was but we have been you. listening for the first 30 minutes of the conversation. I wasn't there! What are you talking about? So... I have... a, a fuck ton of AKs. And... Uh -huh. a good amount of rocket launchers. What about... sniper rifles? I don't oh, have I any of those. That's the, uh, that's like the little bay where, like, the tourists like to hang out, right? Uh, little, uh, yeah, that's uh, like the. Beach. Yeah, yeah. It's like the yeah. bar slash concert yeah, that area. That would be not <sighs> advantageous at all to be posted there. Yeah, I think the only exits from that place is the actual gate, so. Yeah. We want to. That's a good yeah. little spot there to the left. I like that. What, here? No, behind us, bro. The, the warehouse. Oh, you mean like the little. Yeah. Problem is, if you use like the watchtowers and shit, you're pretty much like signing a fucking. Uh, yeah. You know, you're committing That's to that all spot. You got, yeah, yeah no, 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 no. That is a no-go. If I were, yeah, here's my thing, right? Uh, I would say up until this checkpoint, I'm not too concerned about having it protected. Okay. I think this checkpoint is the first line of actual defense, right? And yeah. everything leading up to that yeah. would be littered with cameras. But like I've been just so we can Colin see lately, what's man, going he's, on. He's so jaded and he's tired. Like I said, the the major the thing are the jets a lot out of him and, a lot from him. and the missile silos are best bet at destroying them are immobile. So what what I need to do and any suggestions would be fucking perfect is we need to find the best spot to put them. Hmm. Are you talking uh, about the Sam? What's uh, talking about the Sam sites? Uh, yes. Well, they're not automated. They, you have to... I'll show you when we get to the villa. Let's see, yeah. part, part of me just thinks like, oh, you want it at the highest point so it can take out whatever the fuck it needs to while it's up in the air. But then you also got to think about hiding it. Because yeah, so that's the, the thing. The second a jet spots that thing, it's getting wiped the fuck out. So... The only thing, the only way we can move it is if we attach it to an APC. But if we allow a single bomb to take out an APC and a, a silo, it's really bad. Hmm. I'm gonna perma during this war. I'm thinking about it. Leaves for war, but doesn't come back home. Can you not, though? Good story, though. Bing. Neck snapped. <laughs> End of your story, mate. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even a bad place to fight, you know? Even no, you it's not. Everywhere, no, and it's just knowing... The only shit thing is that you wouldn't know when it's happening. That's the thing. Yeah, big and the. My worry will always be with these fights, okay? Guerrilla war like this is really easy to win on our side, but the second, if we lose control of the air, air one is just gonna pop yeah. those thermals and just fucking find us wherever the fuck we are, and we're just gonna get overwhelmed.
things to consider. So, so yeah, so it's the, the the helicopters with his homing missiles, I think he said. Yeah, eight, he said he's got it's eight shots. Jets. Yeah, it's the jets. Yeah, 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 that one over there. You wouldn't, I don't think you'd even need a home in this out to take out a fucking problems. normal air well, one anyway, of, like, depending on how high it is anyway. Foliage over here, but you also have to assume at some point, like, infrareds. Uh, and if they're going to... Infrareds? Yeah, cams. If, if they have helis, that's... that's Special work for it? That's a different F. I think Jet's probably I call it thermal myself. Do, do heli's have flares? Do you think, do you think like, thermal they, do scopes they pick up a fart against one of those like, lock-on things? Maybe nah. the dust. Not to my knowledge. <laughs> you got some dusty farts, bro. It depends on what box you got, man. <laughs> right, come up to where they're at. You'll probably have a uh, yeah, better up. view of everything. Even though we're outnumbered, it could be in our favor. That camera's up everywhere as well. If you knew what well, day was happening. Just, we have to survive until night. Yeah, which which means we we and still you... need to make sure that we have people that are capable of doing a lot of damage away from that villa. Because if we just put yeah our main like main guys there, they're just gonna steamroll all the way through, and they'll just carry that like momentum all the way through. So we need like we need ways to delay them as much as possible and do as much damage uh, at these points, especially this hill uh, is going to be very important just for. Getting intel as well, because half of, uh, along with you know ice and these fucking cops, uh, information is really big as well. Like obviously you can get a lot from cameras and shit, but you know having somebody like actually out here, person, and, yeah, calling that shit yeah. out, having someone be like, yeah, there's a chopper landing here or whatever. Um, we oh, also yeah. need to come up with like, uh, we we need, need is there like a yeah we need to get like a map of this whole place and have. We don't have to map out the whole island, but what Jaeger said, anything past that gate, we need every, like, section, at least a basic call-out for it. Yeah, but you need um, everyone involved, and you'd need to grab GG, and if HOA get involved, you'd grab them, and you'd go through it together. You'd, we'd all need to be on the same page. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's the biggest mm -hmm. issue. Yeah. We have access it's to all good to an agreement on, on things. That's yes. That's how want to go about it. Mm. It's all good we saying this, right. but imagine if GG don't want to do it I that way, you want to do it this way. You don't want to call this that, but you want to call it that, fine. Yeah, yeah I mean, bushes. I'll tell you some callouts that we so kind of already have through, that most people around here are kind of familiar down, with. Down, like, um, mm. that village over there is where you That's rent not boats, a bad idea. so a lot of people then they call it like, you know, right? the boat village or something like that. Uh, to the There's northeast ways, over there, there's a little village where you can buy fishing rods and hunting stuff. Well, just so you guys are aware, uh, this island is surrounded by mines. Oh. They're just not active right now. Seriously. Cool. That's actually really cool. Yeah. So, if you want to dip in the water over there and just look under it... I'm, I'm good. I, I think... You know, we'll, I, we'll, I think I'm good. We'll trust you. I trust you. I'm we'll good. Just trust that they're, they're not active right now. I'm good. Okay. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I'm still... <laughs> I've seen Hot Fuzz. I know not to trust mines that are inactive. Yeah. Alright, let's, uh, let's keep going. Alright. Yeah, okay. So I just asked Jaeger, he said we'll have access to uh, bombs with remotes on them. So we could easily have people hidden in bushes What's throwing that? out these bombs at any cars that go past. Oh, just like your, uh, never mind. <laughs> gonna make a... Rainy You're gonna make your mom joke? Yeah, I was gonna make... <laughs> well, I'm gonna... City's not here to defend herself. <laughs> We'll play a game of snake on my phone. Give me a sec. Uh, what do you think, uh, you Peter? You play snake? Fucking have a that 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 checkpoint he took us through, right? Yes. Have cunt set up either in bushes or on the hills or whatever. All right. Use that as like a kill alley. Have a bunch of fucking remote bombs set up on the ground. As soon as a car goes over it, just fucking boom. Yeah, it could work. I mean, the good thing with that is. Uh, you could literally, if it's remote control bombs, you wouldn't even have to be like you know? close as in. Yeah. You could, there could be a better distance, you know? So you wouldn't even yeah, have to be have, that close. Have some cunt on the cameras. Force them to go via foot through there and then just clean them up. Yeah, you could do that. The quicker you get them out of vehicles, the easier shooting it's going to be. Another thing is the, the bombs are also not the only threat to the missile 
silo things. If people get pushed while they're on it, then they're fucked. Personally, I don't know if you guys saw the weed farm down there and the, or the coke plants, but while it's not guarded great from the air, people would be able to hide in those plants and ambush anyone that tried to take the gunner out. Mm. Do we know sort of what to expect from PD outside of the jets? Like, would they be able to bring that rhino thing over here? I don't know. If they have a cargo mm. bob, maybe. I don't, I don't know if they could lift it, though. So we'll see if there's anything, I don't think there's anything out here. So, right. this part right here is surrounded by fence. The only way they're getting in here is through helicopter, grapple gun, okay. or through that main gate. Yeah, my only thing would be, yeah, if they say we're getting fucked, like, further out, uh, they might just make a call, since this is, like, if we're all posted up, like, in the actual villa, they might just try a hot drop here and just take it from like in here on foot um yeah i think that's, that's likely yeah I, that is the main way we've been attacked yeah is someone hot dropping past that gate and attacking the villa so far we've been able to defend every attack but we also haven't had something like this so. Uh, you see that hill to the left of us with the tower that we were just near? Like, that kind of yeah. overlooks the villa? That's probably one of the most important spots here to control. At least just have someone up there looking around. Yeah, for all visual sides to it? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably, yeah, the most because important place to control. You'll be able to essentially see anybody who lands here from there. I think, uh, I think we keep one APC near that hill at all times. Wait, so there's only one way into the villa then, through through this door? No, there's two side doors on each oh. side. I mean, they're locked though, but yeah. Oh my and god. This I is... know, right? Can I drive well, this? Let me rephrase that. This is like some G.I. Joe shit. Holy uh, fuck. This is what we I don't do. want an M5 anymore. How much one of these? Dude, wait, hold on. So this one is like a cannon on it. I'll give you this 50 is... bucks for it. This home's in. A storage okay. in us. Yeah, we got updates. So, answers. hop in it real quick. Just don't fucking do anything. What the fuck? Go point that thing at me. Oh my god. The Viking's a mech. It's so cool. Oh shit. Colin, this may be the happiest I've ever been in my life. Uh, Most American I've felt. I got a new wheelchair. <laughs> you you must feel pride. There. Is Colin thinking about the bigger picture? There's two of them? Adburn, you... Come on in, Ed. Hop in. Oh, no Good way! Work. I could just sit in it the whole time! What do you mean, the bigger picture? Snacks arrived. Wait, so hold on, is that 
uh, one that TJ's in, is that actually attached to the PC now? If anyone has a repair kit, could you repair that? I'm gonna change out this fucking dress. Is yours full? <laughs> We allowed to see the inside of the APCs. Uh, I'd imagine so. I've shot one before. At least don't want an A5. Listen, the M5, uh, pass on the M5. I think I might have hit one of these. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what a block. Stuck. Honestly, Pops, what you sort of need to realize is it affects TJ and thus affects the club. So the choice is sort of already made. <laughs> I mean, I forget all this kind of stuff, to be honest. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. Ooh, he's uh, either four or six. Actually, I believe it's four. Holy. So, okay, so that, the black one has cannons, and this one is just missiles. Uh, are these air ones, Tobin? Or are they, like, actual... Which ones? Uh, this one right here. Is there diff notes. firing differences? Um, I, I do not know if this... I don't think this one locks on. I'm not entirely sure. It's been a little bit since I've shot this thing, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, we, I mean, we could probably test them out in a second. Oh, uh, they do shoot pretty far, though. Uh, these things especially. So these these two are lock-ons, right? These. I believe so, yes. Okay. Uh, you'd have to ask Jaeger. It's honestly been a little bit since I've shot these. We don't usually bring them out too much. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. fair. I'm making notes of what we have uh, in our arsenal. I'm taking a photo of my GPS as well. Right, yeah, yeah, I don't mean to uh, alarm anyone, but the island has been uh, attacked recently, so... Some of you yeah, just yeah. hold some of these for oh. now. Oh, jeez, Lee. Uh. So real quick, Jager, uh, so these two, these two I went to fire one bullet and look at the ceiling. Yeah, so let, let's uh, hop in real quick and yep. I'll show you guys what yeah. I mean. Alright. Should be, uh, it should be fixed up as well. Alright, perfect. Um, here, someone hop in and take the keys to this. I knew he would be first. <laughs> <laughs> Just back up to that red uh, turret, and it'll hit, uh, uh, hitch on. The rest of you uh, mm. get in or whatever. You guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh... I'm jealous. Oh, hey, Barry. Oh. Hey, don't fart in here. Yeah, I'm headed to bed. Uh, so things are well, okay. I know that's your first thought. Speaker, uh, the speaker vehicle jump in. Get me on this thing, yes. One of you can get, get in the trailer as well, the red, uh, the red thing. <laughs> Edbert, uh, uh, jump in the red one, Edbert. The one in my... Where the fuck am I going? I just follow them. Just, just go through that gate on the left here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I was coming back in, but that works too. Alright, let me hold it. Oh, <laughs> That's the trigger. Everything is accessible 
to me when I'm in this. Uh, uh, yeah. this thing? Make sure you note down any. Uh, yeah, make sure you note down anything needed. Uh, but... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got a couple more questions for Jaeger for the ideas of these. I want to know if these are six people or four people. How do you shoot, do you shoot this thing? I don't know. Let's maybe not find out just yet. Come on. Live it a little. Huh. I almost feel like putting this in a bush, you know? Is probably like the best up here, like that bush directly across from us. Might be the best play. Thermals. I will point out when you're in this thing, if they like uh, are dropping bombs nearby, you're getting hit. Maybe and, think like, about you're uh, so exposed in a Sam. Press H on the console, but it's not working. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought too. How do I shoot this thing? Uh, don't shoot it just yet. Let me not die. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you hold? Try holding H on the console there. Yeah. Does it undo it. Oh, it did something. It's it's looking like it's supposed to work, but it keeps staying. Oh. Ah. That did not feel safe. Oh. You have to do it while driving the vehicle. That's when you do it. Oh. Wait, what? Oh my god. Wait, what? Oh god, please god, Colin, please god. Look, uh, it's working as intended by the looks of it. Please god, god help me. That is not... Where's your fucking trust in me, brother? Well, listen, uh, uh, doesn't matter that much, but... Okay. So, these things right here are our main defense yeah, yeah. against the chats. They lock back out, on, and they shoot very fucking far. You're hopping and shoot that direction. You can, uh, you can spam it too. Oh, cool. Oh my god. Oh yeah, the range is fucked. I hear like, like, uh, hear like that ro yeah, aim a bit lower and just see where it impacts. Can aim. we take this car behind us and test it? Aim it higher. Work. Aim right in the air and shoot a few. Oh my oh. god. Yeah. The sound it makes. Okay, now you're wasting all my goddamn money! Wait, you just told me to spam it! And say fucking shoot it 50 times. Jesus uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, side question with this. So I assume you still have access to making the ship for now, right? Is there stuff we can help provide to make sure that your stop is as possible on, on everything? Uh, I think I have enough materials to outfit us, but... If you think or you're even unsure, oh, just say the word. We'll make sure that... Uh, I want to make sure that we're over... More than enough that you, you think you'll need. Yeah, over prepared. So if is that you M7 a fuck ton of mats, is that even good? Oh my god. That M7. Can, can this ABC actually fire? Well, I don't know. So. Um, I don't know if this is protected, but if you uh, look down your eyes. If you look down your eyes. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Nothing's happening. You talking about like looking through your eyes and shit with that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah don't down do it. the actual site. Don't do it. <laughs> okay. It's a big no-no, apparently. Yeah. Right. So, uh... Fair enough. They're not the best. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think yeah, it's going to matter. I, I think they're, they're going to have a bunch of bullets thrown at them and probably get hit regardless mm -hmm. yeah um i mean we can we can take a shit out of though in terms of like Ooh. actual just handheld guns what's best but uh, yeah i'll probably be providing a lot of that stuff how do i uh how do i shoot this thing oh god please that looks nice. what uh, 
Well, I mean, what type of things are you looking for, Ed? What happened? Uh, I mean... I'm, what do you mean what happened? I'm just trying to figure out how to shoot this thing. S you say snipers? Yeah, yeah. They, uh, they hop in the other get, one. Uh, that one's easier to shoot. Uh, this one? That's, no, uh, this, this one right that's here. Some, that's something else. <laughs> just go in the uh, passenger seat and uh, don't aim it at us. Yeah. You and Colin with one of those? Ooh. I know. Oh my god! Shit. That's it. Oh, I've got so, a boner. Yeah. The main thing is that APC APC 1 is our best ground effect at all. Yeah, absolutely. So, here's with these, uh, what do you call these things again? These turret things? Uh, I just been calling them silos. Okay, so these silos. Um, I understand they have a really good range, but they need to be set up in a way that they both can cover each other. Does that make sense? So, like, they almost have to have the ability to... Uh, it's, I mean, I don't know how, like, if I'm all the way on the other side of that ridge, like, you see what I'm going on? Can you cover, do you think, from there? Well, here's the thing, right? You know as, much, mountain, like... as much as I want one of these to be up here, yeah, yeah. it has no protection. And it's just a gamble, right? Like, I agree that it would be good if a jet uh, targets one that we take it out with the one that's not being targeted. But if we leave it up here, it's an open target to just be targeted. But I don't know. Maybe maybe trying to gamble and just having them all on assault will be worth it. Maybe it's not worth trying to hide one and have trouble for them finding where it is. I almost I think, know. like, you want to have, like, your main two things is like obviously the the villa is like absolute fallback whatever but you also want to have like one or two other main areas that is just defend, like as defended as possible um especially if it's you're, you're putting one of these big fucking things up here you still want to have people that um are dealing with anybody that's running up to it because if you kind of put everything in in one spot or you spread it too thin then uh, it's gonna get overwhelmed immediately. oh this so rp is gonna be sure fucking heavy dude area, you have like three or four whatever main points where it doesn't just have like high the know, weed high shit or whatever you actually have people uh, you know, defending it from people just running up and fucking headshotting whoever the fuck is you know piloting uh, it um so a plan i had was you see that little island over there uh yep yeah. Uh, I was planning, and I don't know how. Uh, I don't know if this would be effective or not, but uh, some of that water over there is deeper than you think. And I was thinking, baby, we, I don't know how long oxygen sinks last for, but I was thinking maybe we get like 15 people with oxygen tanks and just let them sit underwater. Well, for shield team, team away from yeah, the fucking push, yeah, that yeah, yeah. actually could be pretty smart. And then go behind and once them they push, by Once them. we use the cameras to find out how far they've pushed, we, you know, those guys that are basically oh the SEAL God. unit. Yeah, you would need uh, some actual fucking SEALs to, to pull that off, to actually. Because the second they, uh, the second they comet out, they're immediately going to be, um, you know, looking for them. But if you can create, uh, if, if your biggest thing is like, Regardless of everything, trying to stall for as much time as possible um, till the very least nighttime or whatever. If you can get them in, in their heads that every single angle could potentially have people just hiding in a fucking bush somewhere, then I think that'll work in your Oh, favor. the chat with Nancy is probably going to be quite a heavy talk. Is, th this is what I want. Right? Colin's got a lot on his mind already with uh, this being added. I want the best soldiers we have. I want to give them thermal goggles. I want to give them weapons. I want to give them heroin. I want to give them whatever the fuck they need if that oxygen oh, tank lasts for 20 minutes uh, I want them to be able to sit there fully equipped in a wetsuit with a waterproof bag and wait for night yeah. and the second night happens they flink with thermals that's how I feel uh, ground can actually be useful instead of us just defending 
But I also don't know how long the oxygen tanks last. I don't know if that's feasible to wait that long. We can figure that out. Yeah, we can we can suck it in that info. Um yeah. I mean you can buy them over there, so oh, see. Um maybe what we'll do is Connell will be like, Yeah, I ain't I going. The other thing as well is you need to confirm, we gotta think about the club. Uh, of course we won't mention and the this, fact uh, I'm a fifty year old man. Else, uh, even sure they're involved or whatever but you need to let and then i can just go to suites and shoot the club who else is involved and we need to be able to communicate with them at some point on this island so that uh everybody's on the same page even in just terms of like call outs and shit and how we want to run shit if everyone's even little shit like if everyone being on the same radio or splitting up into separate groups or whatever um you know that type of shit i want to make sure we're ironed out because uh well, it's hard with barry know, how, like, doesn't really want to come across as they do shit differently to us then it can cause you know Issues that aren't foreseen until fucking you know, D-Day. I agree. Um, I mean, plus I'm having the PM uh, and the VP both going away for treason uh, doesn't make Andy's a whole lot of recommendations sense. And GG. So that's probably what it's gonna be. Okay. Um, have they? Uh, have you spoken to them yet about any of this? Yes. Okay. And what were their thoughts on on everything? Have they, have they come to the island yet, uh, as well, and, like, looked at shit, or...? Yeah, they've been here a few times. Uh, Marty gave me an answer that, you know, uh, he is going to be here, uh, but he is not going to force anyone to come and potentially die, right? Yeah. That's fine, I understand that, but... Yeah, I'm weighing a lot of options here. And that's that's all I can ask for is people willing. Okay. I want to come help. I'm not going to force anyone to do it. In this case, we'll, we'll make the best with whatever uh, ends up Colin falls off a tower. I so, uh, just want to make sure that yeah, everybody that is The man with an AR. I think it's one for the 10 tier 1. It's a beautiful bastard. Mm. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if... If I get a fucking, if a senator calls me and says, "Listen, uh, oh yeah, Colin falls you're fucking done, kiddo," then I'm gonna assume that that following day is when we do it. Okay. So I, I think we'll know. I don't think it's gonna be uh, true. Random, you know. Uh, um, I think that's uh, everything we need to see. In the meantime, I'll uh, I'll not chat with my boys and we'll. Uh, Figure out exactly who um, is in the right state to pull this off with us, and then we'll make sure that they're more than ready. All, to... all I ask is that whoever you ask knows not to speak of this. I cool. cannot let anyone know this invasion is happening. As, I can't. Uh, as far, even with me, uh, obviously all the people here are blooded in. Um, I'll make sure that. Uh, they know the consequence of, but in terms of certain details and shit, they don't. Need to, anything they don't need to know won't be told to them. Thing is, I got this is such a big you thing. Guys, and look, even if oh, I'll just say one final thing, I can't. Uh, even if this war doesn't happen, if it works in my favor, uh, I am not gonna forget that you guys were here to help. Hey, so, listen, that's, that's best case scenario. If it doesn't happen, great. But, uh, yeah, we'll still make sure we're prepared for, you know, uh, it comes. But also understand that even if it doesn't happen and those officers that were just at that airport get back to Brian Knight or anyone in the, de the detective unit that you guys were here and took that flight, uh, you're also probably on the shit list now. So. Oh, yeah. Bro, we've always been on the we PD shit list. That's that. that's nothing new there. <laughs> I well, think welcome we made to our shit life. List at some point, so. <laughs> yeah, right, like um... I said, TJ TJ mentioned that you guys uh, have had it up to here with uh, some of the officers, so yeah, it's, they should it's be worried here, that they're on our shit list. Yeah. Well, if they want to let it get to the boiling point, then I'll let it boil over. Hopefully, a lot of them fucking die. Oh yeah, they'll, they'll die open. if they step foot on this island. Um, okay, uh, we'll help, uh, bring all this shit back, but yeah, outside of that, just anything else you even think you might need, uh, whether it's to, you know, get materials I'm gonna to, betray his country. Shit, ammunition, whatever, 
He is a uh, he is a patriot. Myself or probably TJ is the is the best, and we'll make sure that you know if we need to bring shit prior or if you want stuff being brought on the day, whatever. Yeah, I'm a little foggy right now because I'm hungover. Back to the I'm, I wanna give you something. I'm weighing all my options. No. Just one more. Yeah, go for it. Ah. Yeah. Oh no. Come on, Hot Wheels, hurry up. Oh my God, <laughs> He's not, he's not what the fuck? Oh, oh that trailer! Oh god, that trailer looks fucked in my eyes, you want to be careful. It is very oh, oh, I'm on your god. side at the moment. Pater, Pater. Pater, 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 Pater get in. Uh, is there a way to uncouple that thing? Baby, will, you, will you stop fucking worrying? Oh shit. Stop moving when Pater's jumping in your <laughs> Hey, Pater, just get in. Hey, Pater. Yeah, now you can... You're such a worry wart, Mr. Benson. I really want to shoot. Oh man! I'm in front of you. Now. <laughs> I really wish I could close my eyes. I really wish I could just not look what at what am I seeing? At. What am I seeing? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Wait, does it look explosive. fucked for you as well? <laughs> yes, he's in front of oh, me. Oh, that's not. <laughs> that's not good, man. Uh, he's fine. Should be right. Oh, he's in me right now. Uh, should be right. I really want to figure out how to shoot this thing. Oh fuck! Hey, these explosions are starting to beep. Does anyone Careful with this. Is? Yeah, let me move this. Try. I'm jumping out. <laughs> I'm... Oh god! Okay. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm calling. I don't think it'll fit. <laughs> Where's the trust in me, Benson? Is it snowing or am I tripping? The weather here is fucked. That's pollen. No, I'm Colin. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. Don't laugh at that. <laughs> Nobody laugh at that. We got something to eat. We got something to eat. Uh, yeah. Have you got anything to eat? I'm also hungry. Well, that was my last one. Sorry, at least call him. Can you share it? Yeah, you want a you want a lady in the Tranta sandwich? <laughs> All right, I've taken photos of multiple locations on the GPS and started marking a couple of them. Um, were you guys not confident about that being a Sam site? That space we were just at. No, it's it's fine. It's just uh, we need to make sure anywhere these big fucking tarp Sam whatever the fucks are. Um is not just like the turrets alone because yeah they'll be good You'll at fucking be taking out big around vehicles the issue. Mm, yeah you have to have the it's sam sites as well hard. as people actually just there to protect the sam sites from anyone yeah, trying to flank yeah. so i thought and throw this out as a dumb idea is maybe there is a building that is protected enough that would not be targetable by a bomb if you put it inside but it can still shoot far enough yes. away does that make I sense yeah i don't think that exists i'm just i haven't looked at them all if you're, I, able, I, if I you're able to shoot out something's able to get in that's i mean that's fair so uh Pierre, can i talk to you uh we need to get a new whiteboard for the billy to create a war room oh. you catch my drift yeah no i i, I... This is pretty. Yep. That's going to be fucking make or break for, for a lot of things here. I agree. Okay. All right, I might, uh, when we get back to the building, I'm going to set up a, a war room whiteboard. I'll keep it to just the people here for now that can access it. I'll put it away behind a door and then, 
Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to make effort to come here tomorrow. That's when it's open, right? Like next NA uh, storm? Yeah. All right. I'm going to come back and start mapping shit out as well. Uh, it's uh, it's during like... The, it's it's going to be fucked for your hours, by the way. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, but I'll, I'll fuck it. Mate, this, yeah. this is the most exciting to have it in months. I'm, I'm waking up. Fuck sleep. It, exciting and deathly? And we can be fucked? Yes. Yeah, look, we just got to prepare for that. Yep. Uh, Peter mentioned the word treason before. And uh, yeah. Last time this all came up with the loss versus the Senate, I think it was. Uh, someone mentioned you could lose all your assets if you're found guilty of treason. So we need to think about moving cars. Offloading uh, shit. Yeah, moving BBM from Barry's ownership to someone else, because that is possible. Um, and we need to think about. I know, I know how this is going to sound, but we need to think about somebody staying behind out of us six, including Thank Steve. Thank you guys as well, for coming out. Since we're all commander, uh, high command. I'd appreciate it if you put and the AK is back in one of the cars. Sure. Yep. This fucking idiot. You lose all your assets. Sorry, someone thought they bit, uh, they beat my pit record, and it's just fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. In the meantime, Jaeger, if there's anything else you need before then, uh, just hit myself up or TJ, and we'll make sure we get it to you. Whatever, whatever it's, whatever's needed. Anything from mats to weapons to whatever. Yeah, uh, I will. Uh, I gotta yeah. do inventory and see what I got. So is that a real tale? I don't know. What? Well, oh. I'm just, cur I'm just okay, curious. That's... Is it attached to the belt or? It's not attached to a belt. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. Uh, uh, pleasure. Yeah. I'm. Um, so we just yep. take a boat out of here, right? We we'll yep. take the truck down to the um, rental spot or whatever. Take it over. I can. I have uh, the heli over there. I can fly. I can pour back and come and grab another. Uh, I'd rather we all leave it once, probably. If it's easier just uh, to take a boat. If I were you, I would get someone on the island to have a car ready. Yeah, that's it. So, right, well, let's do that. Uh, TJ, what you'll do is uh, just take two at a time, just so yep. there's people not being left solo, and then, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 2.33? You thought that was impressive, you stupid fuck? <laughs> I'm at 2.08. <laughs> Does that mean that's a butt plug? Have been updated. Where's your eye? How are you? Because <laughs> Riv was dropped on his fucking head! If you pull it and you hear, <laughs> then you know what it is, Colin. Riv carries uh, a yeah, fucking man, it's barrel it's around with him 24 yeah, fucking it? 7. Just here, yeah. Well, I'm you trying. thought wrong. There we go. Piff squeak. Uh. 208. Yeah. Man, they got Rolls Royces over here. What the fuck? Wish that's a diamond. Uh, who else do we know is awake from the club? He's awake. Too. Uh, Irish is definitely awake. He was the one I called before. You see his oh! little hatchback, a fucking five seater? Uh, Finn, I need you to get uh, um, some boys and be ready to pick us up. I'm gonna tell you where to go, and you need to, you need to be ready to pick up uh, some of us, right? No, no, you're you're picking us up and taking us just back to the billy. Oh, we just need cars to move people. All right, you're gonna get cars, and then, uh, what do you want them to meet you, TJ? I don't care. Just give me a spot. I'll, I'll just fly uh, them wherever. I'm um, just trying to think somewhere that's easy for you to fucking land. You could just do oil literally oil fields. The oil fields. All right, yeah. Can do that. I can fly uh, as well. Uh, it doesn't doesn't matter. You can just cut some, it's fine. Um, just go to oil fields, uh, oh. and then, yeah, TJ will be flying over, so I'll get one of them to call you as they're coming over. But just, yeah, just send it, send it to the oil fields, and then we're going to Oh, oh Jesus. Alright, bye-bye. Oh my god. Holy. 
Oh, I'm not okay. So, you said that, uh, you've been invaded before. How many times do you think? Uh, I've lost count. Jesus Christ. But it's never been, like, more than six people. You think the butt plug is, like, comfortable when he sits down? What? Every, it was every Friday that we were okay. Gotcha. Uh, actually, here. Uh, you're gonna take us to the airstrip? What's up? Uh, oh, he wants to, he's gonna fly out. I'll I just think. fly, I'll fly him back over. Uh, well, the rest of you need a boat, no? Uh, they, if I fly them, I'm just gonna make, uh, I'll take a boat. two trips back. I don't or think you, you do should it. make that many trips because okay, no. uh, it's on it's on record that we were doing something with a helicopter, so they're probably checking ATC constantly. This boat seats uh, four. Let me, uh, uh, can two of you get the boats? I'll call Finn for a new spot. Uh, I'll get you the boats. They're fucking expensive. Uh, new keys. plan. Uh, just be. Uh, what if you have the keys to the boat? Oh, I'll call you. Uh, uh, we'll we'll feel uh, we're coming from water. So and five. It. Uh, it'll it'll most likely just be towards the <laughs> the beach, but uh, so Spitchy Beach, but to... just just be on shore uh, if you can with the boys. Three I'll call you when we get nice. closer. Uh, that's fine. Just. Yeah, oh my God, he's drowning. Boy, but yeah, it'll most likely be like this Swiss beach, but we just need to make sure. Oh, we got the keys. Just uh, put the. I got them. Yeah, hold on. What's going on? All right, see you soon. Bye bye. Yeah. Oh yeah, so thanks fancy. guys. Yeah, All yeah, right, see you, Barry. Right. Yeah, I'll go with him. I'll go with him. <laughs> <laughs> see you back there. <laughs> Come back here, you dumb fuck! <laughs> <laughs> TJ's on his way back. Deep breath, mate. Uh, we're gonna have to move so many assets around before we do this to make sure we don't get fucked. War, thanks we're for gonna five get minutes. fucked if we get caught, but we need to minimize the fucking. Oops. Well, oh. Hey, Bluey. Hi, Bluey. Hey. I almost didn't see that. Bluey. What made you call it Bluey? Uh, it was named by a former member a long time ago. She was a junkyard dog that was like the first. She was the dog that would hang outside of our old warehouse. Okay. Am I going the right way? Uh, we should have asked to be honest. I ain't never been here before. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, what's that to the right? That's Maze Bank Arena to the right over there? No, that's an, the that's right. an aircraft oh. carrier, mate. Lights. There you oh, go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Fucking hell, my eyes. Fucking hell, mate. I can just go straight to the fucking Billy. <laughs> But you know, I don't know how it works because you rented the boat. Would it not be suspicious? I don't. I think it's. I mean, they're already much. waiting for us. I'm gonna go straight to the Billy because you know we're in a boat. Uh. Pull up to the uh, lifeguard tower at the beach. Uh, they're gonna be waiting for you. Well, thanks for the other five, mate. I appreciate you. Oh, my God. So right now, <clears throat> uh, whatever I listed down as potential losses would be the club account, mm. uh, BBM account, BBM as a business, personal club vehicles, the Billy houses, personal bank accounts, uh, and then full raids on the houses before we lose them as well. Uh, oh fuck, and warehouses too. Do we have any other assets you guys can think of that are under our names? Well, no, it sounds like you put the nail on the head.
We have to think about who, like, reasonably, there's no uh, possible before way. Before you guys go to bed, I want like, to talk with you guys on big wire. I, just, I, I can't see that happening. Even if we wanted everyone to go. Mm. No, I think if a club member doesn't want to go there, that's fine. No, I mean more just like the logistics of trying to get everyone there. Oh, yeah, that's a bit of a nightmare. Considering the train issue yeah. as well. So we will have people staying behind. So we don't have to focus, I guess, too much on the worry of someone moving in to our turf while yeah. we're potentially all away for 30 years. Oh, Meteor on the right. That's fucking horrifying when you're far away yeah, from it. Jesus. Was... What was that you said was a hangover cure? As soon as we get back, I'm going to get that Coke and some spicy up. ramen. Or just drink again. I know Jaeger said he doesn't trust Hydra, but fuck, they would be good allies for this. Yeah, they would. They're hitting dip strategy. Like, they already do guerrilla warfare. Yep. He said GG and who, who, uh, HOA was the other yeah. one. Well, the last job we did with HOA didn't end so well. Yeah, they're, they're useless. I, GG outside of, well, apparently Mayumi just left, Finn told me, and oof, outside of Mayumi, I don't know who else has like big skills there. You know what I mean? Wait, maybe we left the HOA? Yeah. Left or got kicked out, I don't know. Finn was explaining it to me when Barry pinged me to come meet you guys. Outside of her, I don't know who else there is known for their skills. Because they also just had, um... Big uh, restructure. Sis and Andy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sis and Andy become uh, elders or whatever it was. And now there's new high command. And... May's coming home. Uh, just to let you know, you know Gigi and... Uh... Probably the only group to go like half and half, or maybe even smoke Hydra a little bit like in their last fight. No idea. Car on the beach already? Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, GG's probably the best we could have outside of Hydra. <laughs> Remember where we parked, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna crawl out of here. Up. Yeah. Yo. Like hit a rock or something on the way in. No good. Oh uh, yeah, we just have to. There's, uh, there's one more boat coming. Hold up. They're not on your radio, by the way. Just passing uh, airport. Jimmy, thanks for 15 months, mate. Oh. Like a fun talk or like a like a like a talk? Both. Oh. Caroline, oh Caroline. Bruh. Oh my God, I'm so gassy. Oh, I see him. Yeah. 
Yeah, I see him. I got my boat further. Oh shit. Yeah, can someone see me on our lap? Stop me here, I just need to put this shit away. Big white boys? Do we want everyone, like the entire club, or just us? Um, just the people on the island first. We, we'll need a bigger conversation with everybody once. On my way. Yeah. Hey Peter. Uh. Do you mind carrying me up the ladder with your big strong hands to the top? Oh of the my line? god, he's so needy. Stop, you wait till I have a fucking battle wheelchair, mate. You're gonna be like, damn, man, bird. You're a. Hey, sick someone guy. bring food, by the way. Got food. I'll get it on the closest. Ah, you fucking Sorry, dog! Sorry, I tripped. Have I seriously got to wait at the bottom for Hot Wheels, bro? What is this? Go <laughs> up without me, Peter. Uh, I'm getting food. Peter, do Ready to fight your first war? Do you all need food? I'm weighing my thoughts. I'm good. Mm -hmm. As a patriot, you know, I don't need to go against my own country. Beautiful US of A. Eh, uh, well, you know. Then also, if my jacket's already made his mind up and is going, then... My duties to the jackets, it's not to my country. Salad. Yeah, he's America first. That's why he's weighing a lot of his thoughts. So my understanding, TJ, you're already 100% going, right? Uh, I told Barry that if he said no, I would not. And I'm just... I'll... I'll, uh... Carlom is gonna drive me insane. Need some first, food. first time in Vespucci, Barry. There you go. Uh, thank you. Did you take a whole five? Fuck yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. Right. And that's it. That's it. Okay. Sorry. Um, it's only fucking forty minutes before a giant wave washes all the way, so I just wanted to. That's it. Talk with you guys before. Uh, I'll stay live for the rest I of this. I probably chat. won't even bring it up. Oh, so I already owe you guys uh, like a couple of streams, so don't worry. Um, mm -hmm. That's a much larger conversation. Might take a couple of days off, but we'll get uh, right back to the chat. Yeah. I guess thoughts on uh, now that you've seen pretty much the whole scope of what we'd be dealing with. Day 28, we beat uh, our subathon. What do you think? Uh, what do I think about all that? Yeah, what do you think about his offer, I guess? Well, like I was saying to TJ, I might might be a full-blown patriot, and I do love my country, but... My duties to my jackets, it's not my country. And the way that I see it is, if 
people want to help and people want to go, they can. I don't really want to fight somebody else's fucking war, but if one jacket goes, then that's pretty much my answer. I'm not, I'm not leaving a jacket to fight some big war on his own, not without a, you know, his family by his side. Hey, This could go so many different ways, uh, in the best way possible, nothing even happens and then you've just gained all of that respect, uh, you come out on top, you come out on bottom regardless, you, you, you don't know what will exactly come from this, but uh, the only thing you can do is make sure we're all on the same page, understand the uh, positives and the negatives and then just work together and go from there I guess and take whatever angle you want to take, but the most important thing is we're all on the same page. Because that is, this is a big, big thing, so. Mm -hmm. Same, same yep. shit, in same res retrospect. We've got to be, uh, this ain't something that you could just click your finger at. It's going to take. Yeah, chat, really, you guys fucking killed this thing. Walking really around, did. literally walking that What I might island. do, chat, is yeah. I might same do same the community mystery gift for you guys anyway you know because you guys involved. have done such a good job. We're, they're they're going to have to work our way. I'll we're talk about it more. Um, uh, I'm less. And it's I'm just older. something, it's going to take a lot of work and it will be boring until it kicks off and hopefully it goes very well. But yeah, I just, this is, I think there's, there's so many factors that go into this. It's like not something I can just go, yes, I agree with straight away, you know? Yeah. It's kind of more, I like, I, I, I know how I feel, but I got to think if shit goes awry and I'm fucking killed fighting somebody else's fucking war. And, uh, yeah, worse, I, I, I'm i still fine and kicking, but I'm spending the rest of my life in jail. So, I gotta think about that. I'm already 58 fucking years old. Mm. I'll be nearly 80 if I survive and get, we get thrown in fucking prison when I leave that shithole. So, I'm just, uh, I'll stand by the jackets that want to go. I just gotta think about some shit. I bet. I mean, in terms of everything we've ever done as a club, this is the riskiest thing, right? M runs don't oh, even by, fucking by compare far. to this. By, and by, by far. we are doing this 90 to help someone else. This That's wasn't us up. that started this. But oh, do you, do you, were you there for um, telling you what uh, happens if we get caught? Yeah, yeah. Peter filled me in. Um, yeah, this is... This is th fuck the fines. Fines, whatever. You can always make more money. Uh, I mean, this is 30 years... Behind bars. It's not just that. And removal of assets. It's not just that either. Right? When the loss went to war against the Senate and treason was thrown around then, it was they lose everything if they get caught. Right? Business? Mm. Gone. Bank account? Gone. Cars? Gone. House? Gone. So, I've already been... It's, it's already been explained to me, right? That, Tej, you're going regardless. Uh, and I ain't gonna let you go in there alone. Neither anyone else here. I, so... I, I, I never said the regardless part. As I will... Uh, just put it back out there. Just as I mentioned, if Barry says that no, TJ, don't go. I will not. Okay. Uh, regardless of that, I'm okay with it. If we get all of our ducks in a row beforehand, if we move our businesses to save people, if we if we move our money to to safe accounts. Because at the end of the day, this this offers an opportunity we won't get fighting some pissy little gang war. We can either be the guys who win gang wars, or we could be the guys who, win who beat the fucking government. Who defended a fucking island. Be who cares out. about people defending sprays? We're the motherfuckers who use heavy artillery, and we blew up the government. So if we're smart about this, I see huge benefits from this. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, uh... Real smart about what our fucking boys can't even patrol the billion fucking Helions. They're head on each other, for fuck's sake. Yeah. It's, uh. Yeah, even after talking with him, it's. I mean, I didn't really think otherwise, but yeah, it's just confirmation that there, there are still a lot of what ifs because, yeah, it, and at the very least, he made it clear. I, I appreciate him at the very least, uh making us aware of just how much he's unsure of rather than just being like, yeah, it's going to be like this, 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 and then it being completely different on the day. 
I'd rather him just say how it is and be like, yeah, uh, this I, I know about, this I do, this I'm unsure about, because then we can at least make a, a proper decision on uh, if it's worthwhile, but... Uh, how, how long are we going to wait to speak to everybody? Because I want to set everything up beforehand in terms of uh, photos I just took then. I Like, what we were going to have at our disposal. Don't, don't, wanna... the very, don't even, like, think about it until the very least tomorrow. And that's only if I tell you to, like, tomorrow that, like, I probably won't even be awake tomorrow. So maybe not even then. Um, don't, this doesn't leave this, uh, this five here until I, I tell you otherwise. Um, but the next thing you want to do is to get Jaeger to get <sighs> GG on the island and then we go to the island at the same time. Yeah, in character, that'll be a whole thing once as, we as fun as it would be I, uh, I, once we figure out exactly what the, the first thing we need to figure out is i don't think colin uh, one they're actually doing it i, I two, feel like colin's two. leaning a little bit more towards um, not going yeah i just want to make sure that in, we need to ahead. factor in that like someone from command or high command or high high command needs to fucking stay behind too I know that's not the most popular opinion, most likely, but the club still needs leaders. There's a reason we're all in the positions we're in now is because we can lead. And the club without a leader, especially if blood is smelled in the water from you know, other people, that could be a whole danger. Because we need to have something to return to if we go to jail for 30 years. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, it's a, a lot deeper discussion, but... Uh, I did tell, uh, I did tell Stevie at least that putting her in the position she is in, that there will be a situation where she will have to step up. So. Bondi babes on top, invest in Stevie stonks. Uh, depending on if that's uh, even a possibility, because I haven't seen her for a while. Hmm. Um, but look, I, I think, uh, This might be a, a selfish way to look at it, but um, I'll, um, I'll, I'll bring his name up because it's important to what I'm going to say. But when I first joined, uh, and obviously now we know it was lies, yada, 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 whatever. But when I first joined, uh, the way this club was presented to me that we would do shit that um would make people remember and know the fucking name bbmc and they would remember not the yeah, the day-to-day -day shit we did but was, the, the big events we did mother, where so we would go out of our way to do something so stupid yeah, that anybody else months. in the city would just instantly say no to because they thought not possible and we'd still fucking do it and half the time it would the work but then on the small chance it does uh that's what you get known by in this city. You don't, it's like what Ebert said, you don't get known for doing the vaults, doing the fucking M runs. It's when there's a situation that will make fucking citywide fucking news that everybody's going to be hearing about once it actually happens. Um, I, I want to, I want the name BBMC to be remembered for being a part of that, regardless of what happens. Um, of course, I, I hope, uh, Best case scenario doesn't even Obama go down. Bin Laden. Best case scenario doesn't even happen, and You're then we still get my the mom. benefits of showing that we were willing to do that for Jaeger and whatever comes after that. Um, but if this shit does go down, I mean, I'll be honest. This is this is why I'm here, not only in this club but uh, in this city, for Ooh. opportunities like this to. Show the city what you got, regardless of what you think's going to happen. And, uh... I don't really see a situation where, um... Where we're not involved in this, to be honest. I don't really see this as us being like, okay, it's decided we're not going to get involved. I think we already are. It's just a matter of who's going. Maybe we all sleep on it. Think yeah. about the people we think should go and I, the people uh, who shouldn't go and reconvene tomorrow. I'm not, I'm not talk about first. Um, my first instinct when I first uh, spoke with him was 
you know, it, it's very clear to me. He, he wants people we can trust, obviously, or at the very least that BBMC trust because he's putting a lot of trust just into us to make that decision. Um, and my first instinct is like, yeah, I want to throw as many bodies at it as possible. But there's two things to consider. Number one is if people just aren't prepared or don't take it seriously. Um, like, wait, how do I how do I put this? If I had somebody on our squad that was involved in this shit who didn't take it seriously, and then one of us actually ended up dying, I'd put a bullet in their head as well. Um, if there's even somebody that takes this like slightly not serious. I don't want them anywhere near involved. Say the fucking Billy, do you know your shit? Uh, you know your shenanigans down in Vespucci, whatever. I don't care. Be safe here, whatever. But um, if anyone's gonna be fucking around during this, is the one time that I just need people that um, know what the fuck needs to be done and that they're over prepared for it and that they're confident going into it. I don't care if their skills lack in certain areas or whatever. Even though, just like we do with training, we'll get them to a baseline beforehand. Otherwise, they just won't go um they need to be confident that they can do it and it needs to be set in stone in our minds that this will be successful if it goes down uh, that we will not fail we will put our blood on the fucking line to make sure that it works um because you know how these things go especially uh especially stuff as monumental as this not everybody makes it out alive that's just the reality so I need to make sure that it's people that are going to will be willing to put in effort to make sure that they are in that state, that they are overconfident, that they are overprepared. Um, and if not, that's fine. I, it's a little different from asking the club to risk their lives for their boys like on home soil or whatever. Um, this is a completely different ball game because yes, this isn't really for somebody that we have uh it's the club itself has a strong relationship with or really any reason to go above and beyond so i don't expect uh everybody in the club to want to risk their lives and time in prison and money and all that shit for that but those that do i want to make sure that they're uh they know exactly what they're getting into um and that's honestly probably going to happen after a big convo with all of them uh i don't know when our next meeting was meant to be planned but we just need to have a day ideally in the next like two to three days where we get as many fucking people awake as possible and outline to them exactly what this is and figure out number one who's even willing to begin with and then number two if they're you know willing to put in more than just their words of saying yeah i'll do it because uh, i need to be confident in them as well as myself that they're going to be able to do what's needed. Right, we're going to have to be able to be, be the bad guys too here and like tell people, no, you can't go if we don't think they're ready. Because a lot of people are going to put their hand up and be like, yeah, I'm fucking, I'm keen, let's go. Oh yeah, no, exactly. You know? um, and it's not like, everybody will need to be comfortable with fucking shooting regardless of fucking anything because there's going to be 50 billion fucking cops coming after your ass. However, there will, as TJ mentioned earlier, there will be different things that we will need. Um... I think it would be a very good asset having almost someone p exclusively focusing on on cameras and communicating through that. Obviously, if it comes to it and they're like, you know, in the fucking villa and they get stormed or whatever, they still need to be confident that they can ice whoever the fuck comes in. But we need certain people that are comfortable with certain things. Um, you know, even with the high artillery shit, you know, you don't need to know how to aim a fucking deagle to be good at that shit. You need to know how and when to use it, all that kind of shit. Um... And then also we'll need people on the fucking ground that just know how to, you know, take care of themselves and whoever their, like, small group is, I guess. Um, and I think that's... We can say whatever names now, but I, 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 I won't really be sure until I hear what their reactions are and and then show... See, actually see what their actions are to putting effort towards being prepared for it. Because they, if they say yes and they do fuck all to prepare for it then it's like no i'm not bringing you you're just gonna get yourself fucking killed so um yeah it's high risk but i think uh high reward i think pigeon's also in for it as well just as an fyi hmm. 
You mean on on it or like, in, like on it? committing? Oh yeah, lose everything for being one there, job. Fighting it. Oh, Up our alley. It's gonna be a very quiet thirty years if we all go back. Let me tell you that this city gonna be <laughs> fucking quiet. Yep. I'm gonna go rest up. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah I'm gonna think about this shit. If uh, if anyone else asks you, like, if you go down there and just like, just like this. I'm new. Welcome. Oh. Uh. And now my choices are, do I want to perma Colin in a blaze of girl glory? Or do I just want to straight chill, dog? No balls. Nancy, finally free. Free of, free of my bullshit. Oh yeah, no. The only reason Colin would go is because OOC. I want to take part in a fucking war. I need to check something on sweets real quick. Three of the burps. Okay, you miss it. You miss me. Imagine only ha having to deal with me through sweets. That's a fate worse than death. Exactly. That's m arguably much worse. Oh, no. We'll quickly check out that storefront chat. Only reason I'm doing this is because now then I don't have to hear Nancy bitching to Colin about storefronts. Oh my god. Oh my god, bees demoted sweets. Oh no. Oh fuck. Yeah, Kate, okay, you're, you're welcome. I literally... Oh, yeah, Kate, I saw what it was. I saw what it was. Yeah, I could hear I could hear that it was not Nancy saying those things. It was very much it was very much Kate just being like, This is stupid. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, no, it's fair. Trust me, I literally was like, Hey, Chief of Police Reed, you doing anything with this? No? All right, give me the keys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, Reed, what do you want out of this? And she was like, oh, I want, I want this and that. You're all good. Have you seen the Vinewood PD one? <laughs> no, let's go, let's go take a look. I wonder if Ellie got that, got hired in the caller. I hate admitting this, my husband was right. <laughs> Hello. Hey, you okay? I got my fingers slammed in the hood of a car and I really just want oh. ice cream before I go to sleep with my dogs. I didn't even give us any part. Sorry. Calling her. Hi, Gerard. Hey, How are you doing? I'm not too bad. You sound like having a day. I'm having a freaking day, man. Did you ever hear back from dispatch? Um, I did my onboarding today. Hell yeah. Don't fuck it up. Yeah. I'm not. Gonna. I'll get angry at you. Your wife's in a hole. I know, dumb bitch. Are you calling me a dumb bitch? Are you calling no, your wife a dumb bitch? My wife's a dumb bitch. Oh, yeah, your wife is a dumb bitch. I told honestly. her never to go near that fucking hole. I told her repeatedly, and I'm not going to help her. Yeah, your, your wife's a big dumb bitch, but we love her. Right? We love her? So I don't know why I paused. Sorry, I was in shock <laughs> about something. Uh, I do love my wife, yes. You scared me there, Gerard. I ain't gonna lie. She doesn't take unlove well. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, most people don't. Most people don't. If all of a sudden yep. their husband doesn't love them well. You excited yeah, okay. you excited to um, get clocked in and start working? Yeah, I just... Jeanette said I gotta wait till I get my keys. But from what I overheard, she... <laughs> I'm gonna get fast-tracked because I'm just the best. Oh, now to listen to your dumb fucking voice over the radio. <laughs> That's rude, Gerard. Now I gotta listen to your dumb fucking voice on the radio. Oh, wait till you have to deal with on-duty suites. You're gonna fucking hate working with them, let me tell you. No, I'm gonna be very professional. Oh, uh, yeah, I, so am I. That's the problem. Well, that's also the problem for me. Quimbley Thank hates on-duty suites. He thinks he's a prick. Yeah, because you were mean to me that one time that I was under arresting in the police station when you were there. And I said, hi, Gerard. And you said, hello. Uh -oh. <laughs> Mm, that story tracks. That story tracks. Yeah. All right. Well, I know how to be professional. Um. Right. Well, I'll see you at work you tomorrow. All right. Uh, maybe. Hopefully, maybe. Probably. Hopefully. Okay. Have a good night, Gerard. All right. Bye. Bye. Kisses. Goodbye. I'm gonna shout out some HOA members real quick. Who let my wife go in the hole? Well, I mean, it has uh, driven some people to the edge of insanity. God damn it, where's that fucking HOA at? Son of a. Oh my god, are you okay? That solves it. Who are you looking for? You, not you, I'll tell you that much. You're looking for. What, did you say you're looking for the HOA? Yeah, that's what do not they do? you. Do you need to file a police report? I'm I'm a goddamn Whoa. lieutenant. Why the fuck would I? Know, I know, but you're off duty, sir. Do you need me to? Well, I, I never said you were a lieutenant. What are you hold, talking hold about? In. Why is my wife in the hole? I don't know. Why she is my wife in the hole? I specifically in told her not to go in the hole. Were you guys she fucking you around? Right. I did. I was not there. I'm only. I only just got in the hole recently. Uh, but she was she was in here when I got here and who, I came down to try and help her who out of you shitheads was fucking around and put my wife in that hole 
I don't know. You're calling the wrong person. I only just got here and I'm trying to get out and I'm really scared. Oh boy. Who else is there? <laughs> Oh, hey. Rod? Yeah, sir. Why is my wife in the hole? She wanted to prove you wrong. No fucking. I told her not to go near that fucking hole. Yeah, but you. Did you go near her? that? No, I didn't. I, I came here on my own. Not that I'm here. But I came here on my own when I did. And she happened to show up. Look, man, this is your fault. You told her she couldn't do it. It's not that I don't think she can do it. I think that she's going to go fucking insane. Now she's there. really sad. She's saying, my husband was right. <laughs> I am fucking right. I can't do it. I am fucking I'm just right. useless. No, now she's all down on herself, man. You gotta, you're going to have to come down here and help I her. I am not going out. near that fucking hole. Why not, man? You conquered diabetes. You can conquer this hole. I Excuse me, Rod? I'm not. I don't want to conquer your hole. That's your wife's job. What? You said conquer. I don't want you to conquer. I'm you not said, talking about this hole. You said you could conquer this hole. No, I didn't. You're putting way more emphasis. No, 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 on no, no. You this. said this, and then I can hear you lick your lower lip over the phone. I feel like you're horny right now <laughs> because you're down man. here. I never want to hear you say those words ever again. I'm not here. Right, man. Um, we're doing a sweet stay tomorrow because we got a shit ton of fucking. Well, chat. Um, so ends the subathon. Three thousand five hundred ninety-nine subs. The guy smashed out some fucking goals. Oh my god, I forgot I was doing Giuseppe today. Oh, well, should be all right. Um, chat, yeah, thank you so much. Um, I will be live tomorrow. I'm probably going to take a couple of... Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to... I'll stream until the 24th, and then I'm going to take a couple of days. That's what I'm going to do. Chat, thank you for everything, chat. You guys are fantastic. Thanks for everything. Uh, the community mystery gift I'm actually still going to do for you guys because I, I think I think you guys deserve it. Uh, chat, stay safe, stay beautiful, stay out of trouble. All right, love ya.